Hi, my name's Derek. This is a video with uh, vocabulary associated with motors and electrical motors and insulation. The full video you can go and see at the address um, that's on screen now. Um, you learn the vocabulary here and then go and watch the full video. And don't forget, if you like it, like or subscribe to my channel and enjoy learning the vocabulary. Bye. The electrical components of a motor must be insulated. The insulation is subjected to heat generated by the motor and therefore must be designed to withstand the heat generated in a specific application. Class A. Insulation in this class must be suitable for sustained temperatures up to 105 degrees Celsius. Paper, celluloid film and enamel are normally found in insulation in this class. Class B. Insulation in this class must withstand sustained temperatures up to 130 degrees Celsius. Mica and glass fiber insulation is typically found in this class. Class F. In this class, temperatures may reach 155 degrees Celsius. Like Class B, mica and glass fibers are used as the insulating medium. Okay, so now you've watched the um, edited video. Let's have a look at the vocabulary that's in these clips. And here I'm going to explain the words that you've met in this video. The electrical components of a motor must be insulated. So the word component here, component means part. So the electrical parts of a motor must be insulated. Insulated means that it's covered with a material or something that will stop the flow of electricity. So electricity cannot pass through the insulation or the insulation material. Insulation is different from the word isolation. So be careful, we're talking about insulation. The insulation is subjected to heat generated by the motor. So when we say subjected to, it means this is something negative that happens. So the motor is subjected to heat. And the heat is generated by the motor. And here, to generate means to make something. So it's making heat. So the motor generates the heat and the insulation is subjected to and heat. therefore must be designed to withstand the heat generated therefore also means because of this reason or for this reason to withstand something means that whatever it is you're withstanding it doesn't damage you or affect you so if you withstand the heat the heat doesn't affect the insulation or the and the heat generated in a specific application so a specific application or well, specific means something that is designed or made for one reason for a very special reason and application is another way of saying use so in this terms it means specific application means to be used in a very special situation class a insulation in this class must be suitable here class means type or group so a class a motor could also be described as type a motors or group a motors so class here means type or group if something is suitable it means it's the right thing for a person or for a situation so these motors must be suitable for something and that well for sustained temperatures up to 105 degrees celsius when we use the word sustained, we mean that something lasts for quite a long time um, without interruption. So sustained temperature and temperature tells you how hot something is. So sustained temperatures of 105 degrees means that the motor will reach 105 degrees for quite some time. Class B. Insulation in this class must withstand sustained temperatures up to 130 degrees Celsius. Mica and glass fiber insulation is typically found in this class. Typically is in most cases, or another way of saying typically is usually or normally. 
and to be found if something is found in something it means that if you took the motor apart this is what you'd see or this is what you would find you would find glass fiber as the insulation like class b mica and glass fibers are used as the insulating medium medium here means material so the insulating medium is the insulating material